Fourth blessing, and of course I will do my best to be worthy of that trust and to serve them well. I might add that um, while the World T20 is going on in the US and the West Indies, the Super Over was here. It was a very tight race, and let me congratulate my two rivals, uh, Rajiv Chandrasekhar and Panyan Ravindran, for having put up such a spirited fight that it became such a close contest. No, I would say that um, the BJP focused very, very hard on Thiruvananthapuram as also on Thrissur. And in some ways, Suresh Gopi's margin in Thrissur is a measure of the scale of their defeat in Thiruvananthapuram because they put the same amount of effort, serious focus, national campaigners coming, national headquarters coming, serious expenditure, <coughs> a lot of hard work. And they, they, they really um, put up an enormous fight. I think one very important message um, of Suresh Gopi in, in, in um, Thrissur was his systematic outreach to minority communities. It's a very strong message to the BJP that a communal campaign will not go very far in Kerala. As far as Thiruvanthapuram is concerned, I think a strong appeal that uh, Rajiv Chandrasekhar had was basically, I'm a minister. If you vote for me, you'll have a minister in, in government who can do more for you than a fellow in the opposition. I think that brought him a certain number of votes, particularly in the city, from the educated people, the elites, the government servants and so on, they must have been attracted by that message and, and something that, uh, that we really did uh, encounter in our campaign. But otherwise I would say that, um, that it was a good election. I'm sorry about some of the unfortunate language, uh, invective and accusations and allegations that were unnecessarily flung around. I hope that now that the election is over, we can put that behind us and treat each other with the kind of respect, the mutual respect that is essential in a democracy. Look, I think we have to wait and see the final results. I've been focused on Thiruvananthapuram and I haven't had the time to look at the rest. But you may remember when I came back here from Delhi after my campaigning all over the country, I said that I don't believe the exit polls because it's not what I've seen on the ground. And what I've seen on the ground, very frankly, I think is, is uh, much closer to the results we are seeing today. And that's why I do feel that people like me who stuck our neck out and said this are feeling quite vindicated.